and we close our bag. Ooh. Now, our first stop is the Viridian Forest, which is a maze of trees. Let's come up to Stan and do our tree pose. Bringing one foot on top of the other, we use our heel and we bring our hands together at our hearts. We grow our tree up nice and tall. Oh, very good, everyone. Now, we need to make these trees into honey trees by covering them in honey. This way we can attract hungry Pokemon. So let's take that honey and slather it all over our trunks while we stay in our tree pose, trying not to wobble. Oh, yeah, rub it on our trunks. On the front, all the way down our legs, all a bit wobbly, and on our arms. We're doing very well, but we're very sticky now. Oh, let's try and do our tree pose on the other side. See if you can unstick your foot. Ugh, yuck. And let's put the other one on. Ugh. Hands together, grow up tall. Ooh. Now, I wonder how strong are you honey trees today? Let me see. You stay tall and strong, and I'm going to come and try and blow you down. Here I go. Oh my goodness, you are super strong today. No, I'm super weak. Now, it might be a bit of a wait before we get a hungry Pokemon. So let's tiptoe away and see what else we can find. Up we go. We come to some long grass. This is a great spot for finding wild Pokemon. Bringing our feet together, we reach our arms up above our head and we lean over one way like a blade of grass and over the other way like a blade of grass. Or a banana. <gasps> Look, in the grass we spot a wild Pikachu. Pikachu is a yellow mouse type Pokemon coming into mouse pose. Down <laughs> we fold our body all the way forward as we say, Pikachu. We need to hold Pikachu in place, so we use our squirtle and its rain dance move. Coming up to stand, let's do our rain dance move using our fingers to pitter patter. Here we go. Rain, rain, rain on my head, head, head. Rain, rain, rain on my face, face, face. Rain, rain, rain on my bum, bum, bum. Raining all day long. Yes, it worked. Pikachu is stunned. Mama. Time to roll a poke ball and catch it. Sitting on our bottoms, we hug our knees in tight. We tuck our chin like we're squashing a tomato. And then we rock all the way back and all the way up. Ready? After three. One, two, three. We sit up nice and tall with our legs locked. Bring one hand to our tummy, one hand to our back. We zip ourselves up and we give a silent celebration reach here to the sky. We caught our first Pokemon. Brilliant. Now, I wonder if our honey trees have worked. Let's tiptoe back into the forest. Up we come to stand. of the honey tree is a sleepy, snoozy, snorey Snorlax. Now, we need to wake this Snorlax up using our poker flute. Let's do our poker flute pose. Standing with our hands in front of us, we bring our third and fourth finger into our palms. We bring our hands up to the side of our face and we turn our outer hand round. Now, we're very good at playing the poker flute. So we cross one leg over the other and we balance on our toes. Yes, now we play our Snorlax tune. Here we go. Let's try our poker flute pose on the other side. Uncrossing our legs, we bring our hands to the other side, turning our outer hand round. We cross our other leg over now and play a little bit more. It's worked. The Snorlax is awake. Time to roll a poke ball and catch it. Sitting on our bottoms, hugging our knees, squashing a tomato. After three, let's rock all the way back and all the way up. One, two, three. <laughs> we sit up tall. 
with our legs.